as you know, in 2018, the run on quarterbacks began with Baker Mayfield. He was the first of five selected at number one overall. Obviously, Mike and everyone else has Trevor Lawrence going number one overall to the Jags. Key, let's start with you, then with Mike. Better, worse, or same? The situation, Baker to the Browns and Trevor to the Jags. Better, same, or worse? I think it's the, I think it's the same situation. If you think about the Jacksonville Jaguars, hadn't really had a quarterback stabilize that organization in a very, very long time. I would go all the way back to Mark Brunel when they had him underneath the center as a quarterback of the future for the Jaguars. I know they drafted guys along the way, but those guys that they drafted, the Blaine Gabberts of the world, the Bortles of the world, they didn't work out. But you look at the Cleveland Browns, I think the same thing for them. They hadn't had a quarterback to stabilize that organization. They got one one in Baker Mayfield now. So to me, it's the same. Yeah, Key, I see a different. I think it's a better situation for Trevor Lawrence. You got a great offensive mind in Urban Meyer. He was successful at Bowling Green, Utah, Florida, Ohio State. They got a young dynamic player I like a lot in LaVisca Chenault. I think defensively, they got a couple of pressure players in the front seven like Josh Allen. So I think this is a team that could turn around much quicker than what what was going on in Cleveland at the time. So I think Trevor Lawrence is going into a good situation. So it's better than Baker Mayfield, in my opinion. LaVisca Chenault, one of the greatest receivers in Pac-12 history. Key, you know anybody else that balled out at the receiver position in the Pac-12? <laughs> no, not as, you weren't as good as LaVisca. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I'm Look at my face. <laughs> what? No. Chenault was really good. I got I to amend it. Key played when it was a Pac-10. So technically, I guess we can both be right. Yeah, Colorado was nowhere to be found. <laughs> no, that's for sure. They were in the Big 12 back in those days, for sure. Okay, so the second quarterback taken off the board. Remember, Sam Darnold was the third overall pick by the Jets, but he was the second quarterback off the board in 2018. According to Mike's mock and practically everybody else that does this for a living, guess what? It's the Jets again, and they're going to go with Zach Wilson. Better, same, or worse, Key? Sam with the Jets. Zach with the Jets. You know, I went back and forth on this, and, and, and I'm going to probably have to say it's probably better with Zach with the Jets right now because I think when you look at the new head coach, new, new head coach coming in, Joe Douglas understands the situation that Sam went through when he was drafted. They kind of put the team on Sam's back without surrounding him with any players at all. I think they bring Zach along a little slower. They kind of take the formula from Rex Ryan along with Mike Tannenbaum, what they did with Mark Sanchez, run the football, play powerful defense, and allow him to make a handful of throws to keep him in games. That's why I think it's a better situation than Sam had. Key, completely agree. I think it's better, and for similar reasons. Michael LaFleur, I'm talking to you. Joe Burrow threw the ball 450 times last year in 10 games. Be bounced early, just like he said. We're trying to make Zach Wilson successful for the next 10 years, not the next 10 minutes. So I think it's a better situation, but be balanced on offense. Robert Salah, they should be better on defense. Should be predictable when these two guys come off the board 1-2 if it all holds on the NFL Draft on ESPN and ESPN Radio on Thursday, April 29th. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.